One option is to measure range of motion on the screen. As you can see here, I have Julie's telehealth visit pulled up and she's going through ankle dorsiflexion range of motion. She stabilizes her femur and right about there, that's her end range. Now I'm gonna take a screenshot and I can either measure range of motion on the screen in the video while she's going through her range of motion or what I did here with the screenshot allows me to zoom in further on her lower limb to make the measurement easier to make. So I'm gonna go in and take my goniometer. I'm gonna line up my landmarks, and this now allows me to measure her ankle dorsiflexion range of motion. You can also perform the same assessment using a Chrome web browser extension. This was a technique shown to me by one of my colleagues, John Huang. This method is how to measure range of motion with digital tools. In order to do this, you'll need to open your telehealth visit in a Chrome browser. Open the Protractor extension. Size the Protractor tool appropriately. Click the arrows to move the tool. Align the Protractor with the associated landmarks. Make a measurement and document your findings. Whichever method you choose, these are both effective ways to quantify range of motion during a telehealth visit. There are many ways to measure range of motion. You can measure it with your primary device through plugins, screenshots, or the telehealth platform, a secondary device, such as a goniometer on the screen, or by uploading the footage to another app, such as Huddle or Coach My Video, through screen recording, or even asking for in-person assistance from a family member or a roommate. Most of these methods have been supported in research to have good to excellent validity as well as reliability.